Bum, bum. Last Outrider here with Crusades of the Black Legion. I'm just going to detail one major epic battle from each of the Crusades. Not in all in this video, but that's the plan. Crusades of the Black Legion. Over the next 9,000 years, the Black Legion continued to escalate its attacks upon the Imperium. The Traitor Legion, using its time-twisting effects of the warp, to wage an internal war with every great battle or incursion. The Black Legion's power grew. Their ranks swelled by fresh traitors and their reputation enhanced by their vile deeds. It was the dawn of a dark time for the Imperium, during which the Black Legion raged unchecked across the stars. Each Black Crusade was a blight upon the Imperium, dooming hundreds of worlds to death and leaving lasting scars upon the Imperium. A single such crusade could span decades of carnage and bloodshed. Desperate cries of help are sent by planetary governors and battle fleet commanders alike, as the traitor legion's mighty fleets spill into real space to rampage across the star systems and sectors. The populations of entire planets are murdered before the Imperium can respond in force. Each world's grandest edifices and staunchest bastions alike turned to rubble by the traitor's brutal attacks. Though the Imperium have eventually countered each assault. A world touched by a Black Crusade will often take centuries to recover, if it recovers at all. Many systems are eternally cursed by the taint of chaos. Though many other forces of the Chaos Space Marines have launched their own Black Crusades against the Imperium since the time of the Scour. The Black Legion's incursions remain amongst the most devastating, each one leaving a sector-wide legacy of vile deeds in their wake. The Cursing of Corona As part of the Second Black Crusade, Abaddon wove a terrible hex upon a number of worlds close to the Eye of Terror, seeding them with the taint of the Dark Gods. Leading a small band of his elite warriors, Abaddon breached the Imperial Navy base of Bellus Corona, while his fleet launched a diversionary attack against the shipyards. Abaddon and his bringers of despair landed on one of the system's outermost moons. Slaughtering the garrison, the War Master crafted a complex ritual using their mangled remains and invoking a curse that would sink deep into the core of the moon. Only centuries later would the curse awaken as the despoilers behest and do its terrible work, unleashing a mutagenic plague upon the defenders stationed there. By the time the Imperial fleet had mustered to repel the attack on the core worlds of Bellus Corona, Abaddon had already departed, his mission complete. Shortly after the assault on the shipyards of Bellus Corona, an attack occurred on the Inquisitional Vaults, of Nemesis Tessera. Hidden beneath the layers of ice and snow, the Holy Ordos had constructed a watch station from which to study the Eye of Terror, along with hexagrammatically warded cells to hold demonic prisoners. It remains unknown as to whether this was the work of Abaddon, but in a swift and brutal assault, 
one of the cells deep beneath the station was opened and its demonic inhabitant released. By the time inquisitional forces had secured the facility, the attackers were gone, leaving only a trail of smoking corpses and spent bolt shells to mark their passage. The desecration of Gerstal. The shrine world of Gerstal had long been a place of peace and tranquility in the Segmentum Obscurus. It's faithful, offering their prayers daily to the god emperor. The planet was named for Saint Gerstal, who had fallen defending the Cadian Gate during the first centuries after the heresy. Entombed under the world's alabaster capital, the saint was prophesied to rise again when the eye of darkness opened for the last time and stem the tide of the treacherous. During the Third Black Crusade, to distract the Imperium from his desecration of the saint's tomb, Abaddon launched an attack on Cadia. With widespread lies and promises, the war master unleashed the demon prince Talomin, also called Prince of Princes, against the Cadian Gate. Abaddon had convinced the creature that the blood of the loyal Adeptus Astartes could grant him unheard of strength and power to crush his rivals within the eye. In a gore-soaked assault, Talomin and his minions slew many millions of Imperial soldiers and lured no less than a dozen Loyalist Space Marine chapters into battle. In the end, the ferocious warriors of the Space Wolves eventually drove the Demon Prince screaming into the warp. But Abaddon had already achieved his aim, destroying the remains of St. Gerstal and forestalling any chance of the prophecy's fulfillment. The Death of Cromarch The world of El Panor was a stronghold of the Cadian Gate and a key defense against raiders trying to slip out into the Segmentum Obscurus. Commanded by Cromarch, it had repelled countless attacks in the centuries since the Horus Heresy. Central to the defenses of El Fanor, it was the Grand Citadel of Cromarch, overlooking the vast, fertile floodplains of Arabor. The Black Legion descended upon the world like a plague of darkness. Half a dozen war bands of other legions slathering for blood in their wake. The Imperial Guard struck repeatedly at the attackers. Their assaults, supported by massed artillery from the Citadel that remained long beyond the reach of traitor legions. During this fourth Black Crusade, Abaddon personally led the charge against the capital's adamantium gates, through a storm of bolter rounds and exploding artillery shells. Only a fraction of the bringers of despair made it to the gates, and the great obsidian road to the fortress littered with bloodied and broken black legionnaires. Trapped before the gate, the traitors hammered against its mighty doors even as the guardsmen swept their ranks with fire from above. Raising Drachnian over his head, Abaddon struck the gate, and the demon spell split it like cordwood. Within the gate, sundered by Abaddon, 
he and his followers spilled into the fortress, butchering and dismembering all before them. Abaddon himself took the head of Cromarsh, tearing it from his shoulders in a bloody shower of gore before holding it aloft in triumph. Summoned by the nexus of death within the fortress and its final sacrifice, hungering demons ripped free from the warp and added to the pandemonium. When the last imperial soldier was hacked apart, the fortress of chaos, the forces of chaos fell upon themselves. Lost in the joy of slaughter, demons and traitors feasted on the ravaged flesh of Elphenor until it was dead, wasted planet. And Cadia was left with a chink in its armor. Ah, next videos, we will go on with battles from each of the other Black Crusades, leading up to the current 13th one. Until then, bye.